Tonight, an apology in the middle of a firestorm in the Ahmad Arbery murder trial. This comes after a defense attorney said yesterday that he wanted the court to limit the number of black pastors in the courtroom. And my apologies to anyone who might have inadvertently been offended. We don't want any more black pastors coming in here. Okay, let's bring in our Danae Bucci now because she's been covering this trial since the very beginning. She's live outside of the Glen County Courthouse. Danae, you're hearing a lot of responses, and tell us what our organizers planning. Well, Greg, we are hearing a lot of response, including from the other defense attorneys who are distancing themselves from this attorney. And my apologies to anyone who might have inadvertently been affected. The fallout continues over defense attorney Kevin Goff's statements. We don't want any more black pastors coming in here. On Friday, he seemed to walk back these remarks, saying they don't paint the full story. If my statements yesterday were overly broad, I will follow up with a more specific motion on Monday, uh, putting that and those concerns in the proper context. Do you have a quick second to talk about what happened yesterday, Mr. Goff? Unfortunately, no, but I appreciate your asking. Ahmad Arbery, family members and supporters spoke to reporters outside the courthouse Friday. Do you think the apology was sincere? Apology? What apology? You got to call that an apology? His version or whatever he wants to call it. That's no apology. That's no apology. National civil rights figures and pastors have spoken out about the comments. Dear God, we called you. Organizers on the ground say they're planning to bring hundreds of black pastors to Brunswick, including Reverends Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Oh, we're going to have bring a whole lot of black pastors here over the week. Get ready. And Kevin Goff is William Roddy Bryan's attorney. Greg. Okay, so that was happening outside of the courthouse. Let's get to the important aspects of this trial. What was happening inside with the testimony? Well, the state brought in two more um, witnesses, including a Glynn County police officer by the name of Officer Robert Rash. Now, he was speaking to Larry English and went through all of the surveillance video at English's home, showing a unidentified black male walking through the house. He's got valuables stored at this property, right? Uh, yes. It's got construction valuables. Yes. Saws and other tools, right? Yes. It's got boats that are valuable. Yes. Equipment within the boats that are valuable. Yes. He's got a camper that contains his belongings. Yes. It's his property, right? Yes, sir. Even though it's an open construction site, it's his property. Yes, sir. And he has a right to keep people on or off as he sees fit. He does. Okay. Ever report any tools stolen? No, ma'am. Not to my knowledge. Ever report that anybody's broken into that camper? No, ma'am. Not to my knowledge. Any report that anything's been stolen off of that dock? No, ma'am. So while for January 1st, 2019 through February 23rd, 2020, Larry English never reported anything actually stolen at 220 Satilla Drive? Not to my knowledge, no, ma'am. That officer had spoken to the McMichaels about trying to identify the man, and he said he was hoping to use Gregory McMichael as an expert witness because of his background as a law enforcement official. Rash says he wanted to identify the man and then let Larry English decide whether to charge him with trespassing. He says he never intended to deputize the McMichaels to make an arrest. And the state also called up a GBI agent who interviewed William Roddy Bryan shortly after the shooting. Greg? Danae Bucci, who's been bringing you in-depth reporting since day one of this trial. And you can watch the latest testimony and all of the Arbery trial as it is happening on our website, WJCL.com, or our free WJCL News app. There you can also find daily recaps, including testimony for the man who owns the home, the three suspects who say that Ahmad Arbery was stealing from that property.